Hello everyone and welcome to my game room. Today's video is going to be about updates, game pickups, and actually one of the greatest pickups of my entire time collecting video games. Last 12 years, 13 years, however long I've been collecting for, I have never picked up something like this. And I'm going to show you this at the end, but that'll be my next video. Let's get this started, shall we? Okay, the first part of this video is actually the update part. A good buddy of mine, Doug, sent me this, the Elgato Game Capture HD. I can now do proper game footage. No more pointing this, the camera at the TV screen and looking like a turd, like I did in this video. The best part about this is you can have save states, like ROMs, but you can have four for every game. You guys could go check out my last video on the NES Classic Edition. So the first thing I used it on was the other thing that my buddy Doug sent me. And that is Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. Now I've never even seen gameplay of this game. I've never done anything towards looking up this game. All I know is it's turn-based and people love it. Turn-based is my jam. When I was a kid, all I played was RPGs and they were all turn-based. Like Final Fantasy, Dragon Quest, Breath of Fire 2. These are the games that I have the most memories about. Being a kid and just turn-based RPGs. The nostalgia is crazy for me. So I started playing this, I've gotten about 20 minutes into the game, and so far I like the battle system. Too much talking at the beginning, but I got over it. So second up on the pickup list is Shovel Knight for the PS Vita. I love this game! The gameplay, the soundtrack, the graphics, the characters, everything about this game is fantastic. But I've got this on the PS4 and the 3DS, so I'm going to leave this one sealed. I'm super excited about this next pickup. I didn't actually pick it up. I got a call while I was driving for my girlfriend and she was like, they've got GameCube games at Valley Village. So she read off the list of them and I, I was blown away. These games were five bucks each. Harvest Moon Magic Melody. Zelda Wind Waker. Zelda Collector's Edition. Kirby's Air Ride. And to top it all off, Kirby's Dream Collection Collector's Edition. <laughs> Alright, something different. I switched my camera to my cell phone, my Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, to see if the front-facing camera is better than my Canon camera, because I don't think it's cutting it. I was on my way back from Edmonton and got a call, and there were some GBA games. She started reading off the titles, and I ended up getting Yoshi's Island, Super Mario Advance 3, Kirby the Amazing Mirror, and Mario Tennis Power Tour. Yes! So I'm super excited. I did not have these in my collection. Okay, and on to the last pickup was actually at a grand opening of a new Valley Village. We drove there, we waited in line. It was so sweaty in there, so packed, disgusting. Like, I anxiety through the roof. But I managed to get Kirby Nightmare and Dreamland for the GBA. So many Kirby games. Oh yeah, I also picked up um, this PS1 game, Shadow Master. I don't know, I've never ever played this game, but for 99 cents, why wouldn't I? I don't know, you shoot aliens or something? 16 punishing levels of high caliber firepower and tactical challenges. I don't know, it sounds good. Probably sucks though. But whatever, let me know. Now if you guys watched my last video on the NES Classic Edition, you'll notice that there's a panel at the outro that is a video game room that is not my game room. During the summer, I went and visited my buddy Corbin, Optimus Bond on Instagram, and that's actually his game room. His game room is way better than mine. His collection is way bigger than mine. So I want to show you that footage because I'm jealous. Now for my grand finale, my greatest pickup of all time. 
I've been collecting for a long time, over a decade, and I've never, ever found anything like this, especially for the price that I got it for. I'm going to do a video, a full tour video, on these things. I'm going to show you what it is. Stay tuned for my next video where I break down everything to do with those arcades. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Give me a thumbs down if you don't like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more of my stuff. <laughs> All right, so to start it off is the update part, which is the Elgato. The Elgato. It's a nightmare. There's like a hundred people in there. It's like herding cattle. It's very frustrating. So if you have anxiety, don't go to this. 